This is Drom Shekasuto. So Baruch Hashem, it's such a great opportunity for us to hold those uh, amazing phones uh, in our hands, in our pockets and immediately you can just like meet up with so many friends of yours in a second and it's a it's a real it's a real wonder now think for an example on the greatest ones on the biggest like pillars of earth the the main righteous ones the most known and most famous ones like they would barely have 20 students around them like uh, all of their lifetimes 40 students, 50 students, you're talking about like famous people people would have been like people were divided in different communities and with lack of ways of communication and there were no mobiles and no phones and no internet, nothing if you wanted to send a message from one place to the other you had to put some person on a horse and start riding like and after a week or two he would uh, get to the next uh, like uh, destiny the other town and would start informing people in old news of two weeks ago and today you're already in a, in a breath of a hair in a moment above time you're communicating with people in different lands, different time zones and can reach so many souls in, in a second and it's a wonder, it's a miracle that the Creator opens this amazing gate for us now, what's the purpose for all that? the only purpose for that is is our communication is really to increase the love and and to have the ability to share how broken and empty is a person that does not have friends to share with and that's why we we made the Muna project to be so um, such a blessing such an amazing outreach project in multi languages and all social media outlets being used for those ones that doesn't want to use Facebook so we have YouTube there are ones that don't want YouTube so we have Facebook others rather to receive it only through WhatsApp so there's WhatsApp you don't want it WhatsApp you can watch through the website only when you want to get in and check you can check the website emuna.com other that rather to hear only audio so you have SoundCloud and Instagram and, and, and all the rest of those junk ways of communication and the Creator just made it possible for us to 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 hold hands just literally to hold hands to surround the world in in, in, in a glimpse of an eye in a moment you just like hey you push the button and, and there you are like I'm sitting with you right now in your living room like while you waiting for for your for your time like for your like standing on line or whatever your turn to come and and like we can hang out and, and chat and and that's a real real blessing um, for us all now we all know that all those channels, all those social media channels are, are very filthy. We know that people are suffering from, from hard addictions to their phones, to like bad, bad things and, and like people are, are very, very lost inside the internet and, and, and social media and watching filthy things and disgusting things and horrible things but the Creator made those channels for us to purify and the fact that He gives us this access with those inspiring videos and pure message that is coming and clarifying above all doubts that there is a Creator to the world 
and that the godly hand is supervising on our lives individually, on our special life, and and we're able to recognize it through the internet. So the fact that he made that happen, that the light is passing through the same channels that all filth is passing through, is the real tikkun, the real way to fix um, the exile and the darkness. Because if something is being used only for filth, only for 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 horrible things, for impure things, so that's a useless vessel. There is no good positive use for that thing, so like you can throw it to the to the garbage, it's junk. But when you have something that is also pure and also impure, when you have tov vara in it, good and bad in it, so then the good has an additional strength, additional power, midatova meruba, the good is stronger than the bad and it takes over and it's overpowering and conquered the darkness and that's also the reason um, for the creation of this world like if a person would think about it so in the end of time after the exile will finish and everything will come back to its place so we will go back to heaven okay so if we came down to this world from heaven and in the end of this process of, of like lifetimes that we spend in this world we're gonna go back to heaven so what's the use why a person needs to go through all this horrible sorrow and pain and those hard challenges like for what if not that the result will be greater nicer and and then, then, then the level that we were in before. And it's hard to understand because we do believe that we came from a place of perfection. It was all perfect. We were above place. We were before time. We were not in a physical body. Our souls were so united and, and, and bonded to the Creator with, with huge connection based on an unconditional love and, and everything was so blessed and holy and so like how can it be better than that so the only way that it can be better than that is by the fact that we will find ourselves helping the poor helping those ones that were not able to redeem themselves that we will give a hand to those weak ones to those broken ones, to those ones that would not survive the exile and they survived it and made it through past it only by um, actions of mercy and kindness from our side means that we will go to all those dark places, to all those impure channels, to all those tubes, to all those horrible places that light barely can exist in those places and we will change the nature of those channels we will go and fix in those places and we will uplift and save and redeem those sparks that have been swallowed by the snake that have been swallowed by the husks and, and, and by the darkness by the world of, of confusions and temptations and illusions and, and lie and we will save those sparks, we will bring up those precious stones and by that we will achieve something that would have not take place if not for cre physical creation, if not for the exile and the sin. Think about Adam and Eve, how pure and beautiful they were with their cloaks of light and everything was only spiritual around them and they spent amazing time in Garden of Eden the most perfect amazing place in the world all the animals and everything is in harmony and everyone are good friends and there's no hatred and no 
like no evil inclination, no Yetzer HaRa at all in no way and like if they would not sin, wouldn't have sinned so the redemption would take place over there, in that place where they were where were they? They were in Garden of Eden Garden of Eden is a certain location, is a certain place, it's a limited place in space, in time, in, in, in zone it's in the Holy Land of, of, of Israel. It's a certain area that is holier than other areas. So that place would be the place to be redeemed. And even if the light of redemption, even if the light of salvation would conquer the wide world, still it wouldn't be the same as if we would be exiled from Garden of Eden and going to the most lowest and darkest places in the wide world and to those places the Creator now is sending those lifelines to save us and to redeem us so the salvation that is about to come that is taking place right now as we speak is taking place in is taking place in different places, in different areas that are outside the zone of purity, that are out of Garden of Eden. And when the light is shining to those places, is illuminating to those places, so it's uplifting and rising places that wouldn't have been redeemed if um, the sin wouldn't happen, if the exile wouldn't take place. We need to be happy, very grateful for the merit that the Creator gave us all to know Him and to recognize Him from those dark places that we are at in our lives and not to be scared from the darkness and not to be confused from the confusions and always to have hope and always to give a hand to our beloved friends, siblings, sisters and brothers and to do the best that we can with all of our heart. And may the Creator gives us strength to continue and to march with pride and happiness and with a happy heart and a wishing soul. Amen. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your requests should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.